Hey guys, welcome to another weird video. It's your girl, Jessica. Um, and really, I'm not planning for this to be not crazy. I, I just happen to have my earbuds in. I think it might be good for sound, so I just left it in. I'm just doing this video since I haven't done a video in so long, so I thought, why not try this hack? But as well as change my stuff from jewelry. So, I found a video. Apparently, the change hinged rings which can be your nose or your septum um they're not like seamless rings seamless rings you twist them you twist them going opposite of each other not outward opposite hinged rings if i show you here unlike hinged rings geez, like this one i have here you know they're supposed to just open up like that, but unfortunately, they're hard as hell to get out of your freaking face once it's in there. And it doesn't matter how many times you open and close it and try to get it loose, it almost always gets stuck. So, don't even bet on your hands, you know, saving you on this one. Like, it's not going to happen. And um, honestly, I thought about doing a jewelry haul on all of the little jewelry I got for my septum, but I didn't because... Every time, I swear, every time I change it, it's like my life is flashing before my eyes because I have so much trouble. Um, this one definitely wasn't as hard, but I don't know. I didn't really like it on me. I felt like, I mean, it was okay. It's still pretty, but um, I just hated how low it hanged, even though it's the same size as the one that's already in my nose. But um, it was from... Um, you know the um, pink horseshoe that I wore that one time so I just want something different my black one was supposed to come in that was supposed to be a black horseshoe with spikes on it but um, it's like four days overdue so I'm just not gonna wait on it you know you're supposed to apply pressure and it's supposed to pop open the opening is right here of course you can't see I'll try to do it light just to see Okay, I did it light and it worked fine. And I don't, I don't really know why I want to change it so bad. I mean, I think the black looks good on me. I, to be honest, it's not very noticeable. There's something about the spike horseshoe that I, that really calls to me. So, okay, so the opening's right there. I'm trying to have like the best grip on it. I'm trying to have the best grip on it, so, like, it doesn't, it shouldn't, I mean, I highly doubt it'll go anywhere, but I'm scared. Even if it weren't snap real hard, it wouldn't, like, anyways. I'm not, okay, y'all can see. Where is it? me not me getting nervous that it won't open and then further panicking about it snapping and then it it worked okay so for all of you out there and I know some of you commented on um the last video I did that a lot of you had your own like experiences with this piercing finally you guys have a video that validates what works and a lot of people have shown this, this method, not a lot, but a good little handful of people have showed this, but they never show it while it's in your face if it's effective. So you know right here, right here, right now, you have a septum piercing, you have a hinged ring, you get some basic nail clippers, you know, at least wipe it down. I did wipe it down. Put it at the opening. 
lightly apply pressure and it'll open okay so now that that's done i cleaned my nose just want to make sure one more time that it's clean i'm gonna clean it one more time now <coughs> you know I me mean, that's just me me being me being extra you know i go like a week without really um checking up on it um it usually lasts pretty long without being dirty or anything uh, but allergies been kicking in lately so i have to like Okay. It only took like two seconds, but like, I'd be forgetting where it is, even though like I can see it, but I don't know. Okay, so for the people that do have this piercing, I got a question for you. So I had that, um, I had this black one in for I think two weeks. So I, you know, I wore it for a good little bit. Maybe, no, maybe three, maybe two. No, like three, three. So my question is... For y'all that have this piercing, does your piercing also get, like, a little sensitive every time you change it? Or is that just me? That I'll lose this ball or anything? But, you know, I just want to make sure that this ball will stay in my sleep. And if it didn't, it wouldn't. It should be fine. I've had a ball fall out of my face before. That was the first thing that happened to me. Like, I I put this one back in, the one I was pierced with. I only had, okay, so I, I put this back in, right, one day. I got my hair done. I was there for, like, two hours. Came back home, you know, sat on my bed, chilled for, I chilled for a little while. Didn't sit on my bed even for an hour. And this time I know, I, I feel something fall into my lap. I'm like, what the fuck is that? So I'm checking it doesn't seem like it loosened when I let it go. But, you know, I've seen some people have, like, a spike in a ball. And initially I wanted to do it with this one because I thought it would look better. But, I don't know. I, I have reason to believe that this ball won't fit it. Because I think this ball is, like, a different millimeter than the one I have here. I think this one's, like, a three millimeter and this one's a two. So I think that's why it doesn't fit. But that was the video, guys. Um... I hope you enjoyed it. I know it was, like, hella boring, but I thought it was a good idea to try this hack in front of y'all because I have literally, I, and I mean, I kid you not, literally searched far and wide to find a method that works for this freaking hinge ring. And now, all of a sudden, there's a website that tells you exactly how to do it with freaking Clipper. But back when I was struggling, ain't nobody could tell me shit, okay? So... Just so y'all know, here's the video. Clippers for hinge ring. It works every time. Hope you guys are doing good. I just want to show my face again, even if it's hella boring. Um, show my, my wild curly hair that I always do this. And I really want to be like little YouTubers and all. So goodbye.